What's up guys, it's your boy, Barca Boy 103 Today we're going to be reacting to the Barcelona news over the past 24 hours. Let's get into it. Now the biggest news over the past 24 hours and the breaking news is that we have reached the amount of votes needed to call for a referendum. The motion of no confidence has been a success. Breaking news is that the motion of no confidence against the board of directors have reached the required amount of 16,521 validated votes. We did it. The socials have done it. They have gotten the amount of votes needed to call for the elections right now. And Bartomeu is on the brink of being kicked out of football club Barcelona. They're saying now for the referendum against the president to take place, it must be held in the next 20 business days. In addition, a 66.6% .6 of votes in favor will be necessary to force Bartomeu and his board out. And the club now have 20 days to make a date for a referendum on Bartomeu's future. So the situation is now is that Bartomeu has 20 business days to decide whether the associates all come to vote him out or if he resigns himself. Now it's looking like he's going to resign because he knows that if he resigns, his board of directors will still be in power. Now that's a difficult situation that we're in at the moment because Bartomeu still has a little bit of upper hand in the fact that if he resigns, all his board members will stay. But if he continues and then they get the 66% votes, he will be kicked out and the elections will be called immediately. Now we have some of the top sources in uh, Barcelona coming on giving out their statements. First is Alfredo Martinez saying it is already official, more than 16,521. There will be a censorship vote against Bartomeu. It will take place in a period of around one month if the board of directors does not resign before that. He's just reiterating the exact same thing. Morales came out saying Bartomeu is on the ropes. The members will have at their disposal the motion of censor to cut the departure of the president in the few months, decisive weeks ahead. Also, Ben Yam has came out saying the ball is now in Bartomeu's court. He, will he resign or will he face a vote of no confidence? As we mentioned earlier, there will be a meeting to determine the outcome of this event. Now, Bartomeu has this meeting scheduled for tomorrow in the morning at 11 a.m. Bar Barcelona time, of course, with all the board of directors and they're going to decide whether they're going to resign or they're going to go ahead with the big motion of no confidence vote. Now, El Paris, not that reliable, but they have come out and said that Barcelona is considering resignment after reaching the required numbers of signatures in a motion of no confidence. It's going to be a big week ahead, maybe a week or two coming up, because right now Barcelona is focusing on cutting you know, the players' wages and staff at Barcelona due to the COVID pandemic. He's telling them to cut your wages now and we'll give it back to you afterwards. So that's what he's focusing on right now, cutting the wages of the Barcelona players and the staff. But he's got another big problem on his hand. And it looks like he is going out. So we all know that the elections at the moment are scheduled for March. And it looks like they could be coming to, you know, beginning to mid-November. Just like the U.S. presidential election, which is, you know, kind of ironic. But right now it's all in Bartomeu's court. Will he resign or will he go ahead with the motion of no confidence? Now the reason why he may resign is because if he gets absolutely destroyed... And the motion of no confidence, it's going to look so bad on him. And he will, he's already gone going down as the worst president in history. But these are just new numbers. Like, this is the first time there have been 20,000 votes for a president. This is the most uh, required votes ever for a president. And they've reached it during a pandemic. Like, they couldn't even go to the stadium and, you know, advertise it or anything. This is during a pandemic. And they got almost 20,000 votes. Now, if he goes, let's say the 66.6% .6 is needed, right? Let's say they get 95%. Oh my god, the consequences, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna be so, so, so screwed. His legacy is gonna be all oh, in the dust, in the dust. That's why he may resign, because if he resigns, his board of directors will take over until March, and then the elections will happen then. But I know a lot of people want the elections to happen now, get it now, get it over with, get Victor Fonda or Juan Laporta in. But we'll see, it's all down to his decision now and the board of directors. Let's see what they make, but for now... Motion of no confidence, stage two has been a success and we are going to stage three in 20 business days. So to end off this video, we're just going to talk about the little bit of news that's going on in Barcelona, obviously since the treasure window is closed, there hasn't been that many transfer news or news in general. First thing I want to show you on uh, Todibo's Twitter that he tweeted, I'm very happy to inform you that I've signed with Benfica. I would like to thank the club for their trust in me and all the fans for their support. I can't wait to start my new journey here, blah, 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 blah. Then he has a big Gracias, thank you to Barcelona, you know, letter to the fans. I don't think the deal is coming back, boys. I don't think, <laughs> I think, he, I think Benfica are going to sign him. It looks like they're going to sign him. He's acting like he's going to stay there for a long time. He's saying, I've signed with Benfica, even though it's only a loan. 
No one ever does this when there's a loan. So I think Todibo, I think Benfica and Todibo have maybe a verbal agreement that he's gonna, you know, they're gonna activate their purchase option. Because I don't see that I don't see Todibo coming back to Barcelona after this. So just so that you guys know, that looks like Todibo is gonna be no more. Or maybe we can sign him in the future if, you know, we go for him. But I don't think he's gonna come back after all this. So that's the first one. Second one coming in from Oriole saying it's more likely that Depay will come in January rather than Eric Garcia. There's a moral commitment to Depay as per Oriole. Now the rumors are is that Barcelona told the pie do not extend your contract with Neil and come January we're gonna come for you and we're gonna sign you this time. Now there are also rumors coming from Mundo team saying that we're gonna have to let someone else out, let someone else in again, blah 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 blah. So it looks like Mateus Fernandez and Braith are gonna be on the chopping block in order to bring in the pie and Eric Garcia. Whether we loan them, whether we sell them, we'll have to wait and see. But it looks like the pie is Barcelona's priority because they already have Eric Garcia in the bag. Like I said, the question is whether it's gonna be in January or in the summer. So they're going to go for Depay first. Speaking of Eric Garcia, Mundo Portivo have come out saying during the negotiations with Manchester City for Eric Garcia, the player was willing to give a part of his salary that he would earn at Barcelona to give the negotiations a boost. In the end, it didn't come to fortune and now he's going to wait until January. So Eric Garcia is desperate to come back to Barcelona by looks of things. He was going to give up some part of his salary to come and to give a boost in the negotiations with Manchester City. Manchester City didn't want to budge from their 20 million asking price. Come January though, that, that asking price is going to be half because we all know that his contract is going to be coming out very, very soon. Next one's coming in from Sport and it says that Samuel Otiti believes that due to the limitations in defense, the freshman can get his chance this season. He wants to reserve the current situation by training hard, although it won't be easy since Coleman doesn't count on him. Heard this a bunch of time about Samuel Otiti. Ever since that knee surgery, he's been dusted. If he comes back, I guess maybe a couple games around, we'll see. I don't see him returning to the top level of Barcelona. And I do see him, I do see Barcelona, you know, pushing him out in January to bring in Eric Garcia because they you know they have faith in PK, they have faith in Longlet, and they have faith in Ronald Rajo. And they don't like him to do that much. So I could see maybe Titi going out on loan, contract termination, or being sold in January to bring in Eric Gar to bring in Eric Garcia. So that's my reaction to the Barcelona news over the past 24 hours, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, comment, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Obviously, it was a little bit of a short video, but I just wanted to bring you guys the news about the motion bill confidence being a success. It looks like Bartomeu is going to be going out. Let me know your thoughts about the referendum and the motion bill confidence and who you want your next president to be down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and Forza Barca. <laughs>